Hey my friends, welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Visual Studio Code on Mac. Let's get started. To install Visual Studio Code, you will have to first open a browser of your own choice. I am going to open Chrome. So I am going to press Command Space and then write Chrome. And there you go, Chrome is open. Now over here in the search bar, I am going to type Visual Studio Code for Mac. I hit enter and I'm going to click on this first link that appears in my search results, which is from the website https code.visualstudio.com. All right. You can see download Visual Studio code appears over here and there are three sections. One is of Windows, another one is for Ubuntu and uh, .rpm file for Red Hat and the last one is for Mac. Since I'm interested in downloading Visual Studio code for Mac, hence I'm going to click on this button in the third section. All right, and you can see the download has begun. It's going to take some seconds because its size is 201 MB. But it will be done pretty soon. All right, you can see that the downloading has completed. I am going to click on it to open it in downloads folder. It's a .zip file. So I am going to double click on it to expand it. And there you go. Visual Studio Code as an application is available directly. No installation, nothing. Now we are going to put it in the applications folder. To do that, simply click on Visual Studio Code, drag it and drop it in the applications folder over here like this. It may or may not ask for credentials. For me, it's asking. So I'm going to enter the credentials. Hit OK. And there you go. You will now find Visual Studio Code in applications. There it is. Now double click on it to open it. And we are going to run our first Python program on Visual Studio Code. I'm going to click on open and there you go. Now before you start, you can choose any color theme you want. I am going to stick to dark modern only and I'm going to close this welcome screen. Now we are going to first create a folder that is going to act as a project. So I'm going to head over to desktop. Over here, I'm going to right click and create a new folder. And I am going to name it as VS Code Project. Okay. Now we are going to open this VS Code Project folder over here in Visual Studio Code. So to do that, you will click on File and you will click on Open. You will head over to desktop and over here, you will click on VS Code Project and click on Open. There you go. It's open. And uh, there is a pop-up which says that Visual Studio Code would like to access files in your desktop folder. I'm pretty much okay with it. So I'm going to click on. Now it has come up with a dialogue which is asking me if I trust the authors of all files in the parent folder desktop. And yes, I do because I created that folder. So I'm going to check this option and click on yes, I trust the authors. Now I'm going to right click on this VS Code underscore project. And now you will click on this project VS Code underscore project and you see this icon over here that's going to create a new file within this project. So I'm going to click on it and let me name it first Python program dot py. Okay. And within this first Python program dot py, let's write our first line of code. But before that, this file will not run unless and until we have installed Python plugin in Visual Studio Code. And that's what is asking me to do. Do you want to install the recommended Python extension from Microsoft for the Python language? So I choose to install it because I need to run Python. So I click on install and it's installing it for me. And there you go. Python has been successfully installed. Now let me go back to my program over here. Let me write print. Hello, Visual Studio Code. Actually, the font looks a little smaller. So let me increase the size. So I'm going to head over to view, click on appearance. And over here, I am going to click on zoom in. The keyboard shortcut is command equals to. So I click on zoom in and there you go. The size has increased. Now I want to run this program. So I will have to 
right click over here and you can see there is no run code option available over here so to make a run code option available over here we'll have to install another extension and that is known as code runner so let's install it to install code runner you need to click on this extensions icon mine is already selected so i'm going to head over to this search bar and in here i'm going to type code runner so when you type code runner you will get all these options. Make sure you select this one with dot run as the icon and you click on install. All right, code runner has been installed. Let's check if it has been successfully installed or not. Let's check if it is successfully installed or not by right clicking over here and you see run code option is now available in the menu. Now let's run this program. So I'm going to click on run code. Now let's run this program. So all you have to do to run this program is click on run code and there you go. Hello Visual Studio code is printed on the console and thus we have run our first Python program successfully using Visual Studio code. And of course, since it has run successfully, that states that concludes that we have successfully installed Visual Studio code on Mac. So with this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed learning how to install Visual Studio Code on Mac from this video of Joey's Tech. Do subscribe to Joey's Tech so that you don't miss out on such videos that I create for you. I'll see you in the next video of Joey's Tech. Till then, goodbye and take very good care of yourself.